In this video, we will continue with R formula. You will find this on page 460 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Express cos theta plus square root 3 sin theta in the form R cos theta minus alpha where R is bigger than 0 and the acute angle of a is bigger than zero and smaller than a half pi. Okay. Giving the exact value of theta. So as soon as you see, oh, this is now not in degrees, this is in terms of radians. And if they say exact, then you must already ring a bell that you're going to work with special angles. Okay, with your triangles. But let's start. So this and the same here at the, at the end. So work in radians. So I'm, I'm doing exactly the same. I write this. I take the compound angles. I form my two equations just like I did in the previous. I get my angle but now I say tan theta is, is square root 3 over 1. And I think what triangle is that? Okay that is my pi over 3 and pi over 6. Remember it was an isosceles tri ach, not, equilateral triangle so that was 2, but now it's 1, and that is 2, and that is square root 3 with Pythagoras theorem. This angle is 60, or pi over 3, and this angle is 30, or pi over 6. Now I must think, where is tan? Is it from this one or this one? Where it, because tan is opposite over adjacent, so they are working from this angle. Okay, so I can say that that acute angle is pi over 3. Okay, and that's why they used the word exact. Now we do exactly the same as the previous videos um, on our formula. We square and add the equation 1 and 2. And then we will just square, square, r square. Okay, just like in the previous because cos square plus sin square um, will be 1. And then I will just go and I find the value of r, the positive, it's 2. And I just basically going to substitute it in there. There's the original, and there I substitute it in. Okay, and now usually I will continue with the question. So hence show that one solution of the equation um, is 7 over 12 pi, and find the others in, in this interval. Okay, so we do it exactly, which is just now in radians, and we are exact, so we can do it without a calculator. So basically, I substitute this, I divide by 2, and now I'm sitting with this. This is my equation. Now, don't forget that this is theta minus pi over 3. So I'm going to change my domain, and I subtract pi over 3, subtract, subtract. And if I do it in a sketch, it's going to be negative pi over 3. And in this one, from the positive, are up to uh, 1 and 2 over thirds pi. Okay. Now I'm going to say where is cos positive because there's a positive, do you see? That's in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. But now I must still find my basic angle. Still work with, with your um, special angles. Now because I see this is square root, this is square root 3, well which one is having square root 2? It's the isosceles. This 1, 1, square root 2. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so I can see it's pi over 4. Okay, so I know that the basic angle is pi over 4. Okay, and now, so if I'm, if I'm going to, can I just show you? This is going to be, okay, let's just work. I just want to show you this rationalizing. Cos pi, it's, it's 1 over, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Remember, it's like this. But if you rationalize it, can you remember? Or if you learned the rational, you will already know that it's square root 2 over 2, which is this. But that is actually still cos pi over 4. Okay, and that's what I showed you there. Okay, and then, so now it's in the first, so it's pi over 4, the basic angle. And in the fourth, which is going to be, in this case, now it's in the negative. Do you see? Because it's negative a quarter. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to, to say, because the basic angle is pi over 4, so if I say the negative, how do I do in this? It's negative pi over 4. 
And then I add, because it's not falling there in the positive there, it's fall, uh, falling in the negative part. And then I add the pi over 3 and I get pi over 12. So my two answers is 7 over 12, the one that they gave me. The other one is pi over 12 or 1 over 12 pi. And that's how I do it. Okay. So it's actually exactly the same. It's just that I did not work with a calculator due to the word exact. And I'm in radians. I just worked with the special triangles that we did in chapter 4. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to try 21. I just want to change this and in a reprint I will change this and I'll show you at the end why. Okay, so I just want to include. So it's from um, bigger than zero and smaller, bigger or equal to zero and smaller and equal to two pi. Okay. Okay, let's start with it. Number 21. I start with my statement, this is number A, and it's square root 3 cos theta plus sin theta, and I must get it, and remember I said they don't give it on the formula sheet, or um, on the Cambridge one I did not see it, and the reason is why, because they give it to you actually in the question, all the info that you need. Remember, it's cos, and that's why the sign is already opposite. Okay, but let's start. And again, I, I'm doing it a little bit longer, and it's more for the video's sake. So this is compound angle, so it's going to be cos, and then it's going to be cos, opposite sign, plus from that sign. So it's sin theta, sin, no, let's just move it still a little bit. Just want to get sin alpha, and that is going to be r cos theta cos alpha plus r sin theta sin alpha. Okay, and now I'm going to do my equating. So there, I'm focusing there, and I focus there. Okay. So if I do that, I will get my first one as square root 3 is equal to r. Oh, sorry, I, this is not going to, it will work, but it's cos theta, sorry. So it's r cos, because that's cos theta, cos theta. So it's cos alpha, that's equation 1. And then equation 2 is going to be, if there stands nothing, there's a 1. So, and 1 is equal to r sin alpha, and that's equation 2. And then I'm just going to say, okay, 2 divide 1, and then it's going to be r sin alpha over r cos alpha, and that's going to be 1 over square root 3. So the R's cancel, so it's actually going to be tan alpha, it's 1. And again, did you see in the question, I just want to correct the pen, they again said exact value, and it's in radians. Then you must always think special triangle, so I'm not going to work with, an old, with a calculator. So if I'm going to do this, uh, I know this one, the equilateral, and I'm just making so that you see it's the equilateral. I know it's 1, that was actually 2, but that's the 2, and this is square root 3. And this angle, it's the 60, but it's pi over 3. And this one, it's actually the 30, but it's pi over 6 numbers. Okay. Okay, so this is my angle. Now I say tan. So tan is opposite over adjacent. So it seems to me we are working from this angle. So I can say that that alpha, so therefore... Alpha is equal to pi over 6. Okay, the acute angle. And now I'm going to um, find my value of R. So can you remember how did I find the value of R? I just did the following. I take my equation 1 and I square it. And I take my equation 2 and I square it. And if I do that, I'm going to get... Um, 
square root 3 squared plus 1 squared. And remember, that's R squared. Now, in this case, I'm not going to say cos squared um, plus sin squared because I know it's 1. It's going to end but with this. Okay, so this is going to be 3 plus 1, so it's 4. Now, it's actually R is plus minus 2. Okay. Um, to, get, to, to get the square, you take the square root. Uh, to get the square away, you take the square root 2. But R is bigger than 0, so therefore R is equal to 2. And I can go further and say, therefore, I want to just go to red now. Therefore, and now I just start with that opening statement. I just want to move this. So I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, so it's square root 3 cos theta plus sin theta is equal. Put the R in. Uh, put the acute angle in. And that is going to be pi over 6. Okay, and there I expressed it in that form. And now I can move on to number B. Now, what are they saying in number B? They say, hence solve this equals 1, giving the solutions in the, and I remember I just include, and I'll just show you now why, as soon as I come to that point. Okay, so let's start with number B. Now, I'm going to do it again here, to so just have space. So it's going to be square root 3 cos theta plus sin theta is equal to 1. Okay, but now I'm going to put in this statement here. Do you see there? So it's going to be, so in the place of this, so I'm going to say 2 cos theta minus pi over 6 is equal to 1. And now I can start. So I can say, so cos theta minus pi over 6, and that's a half. And again, I'm still in special triangles. Right, but before I go to that, I just want to quickly show you, okay, here is now my, oh, I don't like not to work with a pen here, a ruler. Okay, this is my diagram. Now, I see it's, so it's either 1 and 2, but, but I always first like, first work with, I said theta, now let's just get the pen correct, theta is bigger than 0 equal and smaller than equal to 2 pi. But now I have to subtract the minus pi over 6, minus pi over 6, minus pi over 6. So basically I get negative pi over 6, and then um, theta minus pi over 6, and then smaller. Now this is 1, do you agree? And 5 over 6 pi. So basically, if I'm going to go now into my sketch, it's going to be negative, okay, there, and it's 1 and 5 over 6. So remember, the negative 1 will be in this direction, and the positive 1 will be, and I'll make it blue, positive 1 will be up to there. And remember, this is 1 and 5 over 6 pi. Because that little red one is negative, let's go it close, negative pi over 6. Okay. So now I can start, and I'm going to say, now again I have to go to my special um, triangle. So let's, let's quickly see. If I go, and I'm going to work in that triangle, but it's one, so I, I stay to the same triangle here. Just want to see if I already draw it, because it's a half and it's cos. Oh, where did I draw? Okay, I'm just going to redraw it. It's not such a big problem. Okay, so if I redraw that one, okay, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so this is going to be 1, and this is going to be 2, and this is going to be square root 3. Remember, this is pi over 3, and this is, oh, 
pi over 6. Okay, so a half cos, cos, do you see, is going to be 1 over 2. Okay, so the basic angle, this is very important, the basic, and I just want to make it blue, the basic angle is going to be that pi over 3. Why? It's coming from this. Cos, adjacent over hypotenuse. So I'm working from this angle, so that's pi over 3. Okay. Now I'm going to say where. So this is not a problem. This one is not going to be a problem. It's going to be pi over 3. The problem is maybe with, with this one, this one that I'm going to, to get here. Okay, but I'll come now to this. So this one I'm just going to just do like I usually do. I'm not going to work with the negative because it's here in the blue. I'm going to say 2 pi minus because it's going to be here. Okay, do you see? So let's start. I'm going to say pi ach, theta minus pi over 6 is equal in the first quadrant, as I said there. It's just going to be pi over 3. That's going to be my first value. Okay, I will now simplify this. The second one is going to be, and this is going, now going to be 2 pi minus, remember there's the third now. A third is going to be bigger than uh, 1 over 6. So minus uh, pi over 3 does not matter. Okay, this is my second one. So I'm going to get, this one is going to be pi over 3 plus 1 over, or pi over 6, doesn't matter. And if you press that on your calculator, that is going to give you an answer of pi over 2. Because if you multiply, oh, it's not necessary, you can just multiply 2, multiply. So it's 2 plus 1, so it's 3 over 6, but it's going to be pi over 2. That is going to be your answer. Okay. The second one, the second one is now... I'm just going to say, okay, if I subtract, so it's 2 minus a third, so 2 minus 1 ABC3 equals, I bring that one over, plus 1 ABC6 equals, and I'm getting that theta is equal to 1 and 5 over 6 pi. And this is the reason why I include that. Okay, that why I, I because I want this also to be my answer. Okay, and that's how you do it in terms of pi and special and with special triangles.